fly is relatively easy to tie. However, there is some prep work to do before starting the tie. But the prep work will allow you to tie a few of these in a row. Start by cutting out a 3 quarter inch wide strip of 2 millimeter tan foam. And do the same thing with some dark brown foam. Then use some super glue or this paint on gorilla glue to attach these two strips together. And putting something heavy like a book on top of them helps. Trim the sides to make them even. And then cut the strip in half if you cut a longer strip. Cut the piece into 1 quarter inch strips. So this will make about 3 per piece. If you do this with 2 pieces, you now have enough to make 6 flies. You will also want to prepare the legs. Take 2 strands of mini centipede legs and tie them together. And do the same thing with two more. Now let's start tying the fly. For the hook I'm using a TMC 100 in size 10. And for the thread I'm using Vivas 10 knot in tan. Make a thread base on the hook and bring your thread back to the bend of the hook. Then paint on some more super glue. Now take a 1 quarter inch strip of tan craft fur and cut a triangle off the tip. Lay it on top of the hook and tie it down so the point extends just shy of the hook eye. Then tie this down far into the bend of the hook. Now take some dry fly dubbing in a shade of yellow and dub it onto your thread. Make sure you cover the foam entirely. Then bring your foam up over the dubbing and tie it down tight. Now span over a section of the foam and make two wraps. Then span over another section and make two more wraps. Make one more wrap to switch directions and then span back to the first wrap. Then back up to where you first tied the foam in. Cut off the tag end of the foam strip and tie down the waist. You have now created a segmented body out of the foam. Now take the glued piece and cut an angle on it as well. Then tie it in right in front of the previous foam strip. Cut off any excess sticking up and then tie it down tightly. Now take some synthetic hair, in this case I'm using Congo hair in a medium brown, and tie it down just between the two foam pieces. And then cut off the waist. And then cut it about a half a hook shank length longer than the hook. Add a bit more of the yellow dubbing to cover your thread wraps in the front. and then pull the foam rearward and tie it down so it makes a head in the front. Cut off the foam close and tie down the waist. Now cut a diamond shaped piece of bright colored foam. I'm using yellow, but hot pink, chartreuse, anything easy to see will work here. Tie this piece down right in the center of the diamond and right behind the head. Now we will add the legs. Take the already knotted centipede legs and tie them in so the knot extends just shy of the end of the fly with some loose wraps. If you're unhappy with the length, just pull it slightly to adjust the length. Tie the other pair in on the other side of the fly. Then whip finish your fly and make sure you tighten it down. Now trim off one of the rear legs past the knot, and also one in front of the legs. And do the same thing on the other side. Cut the front legs to length, and the rear ones as well. Now liberally coat the knot with super glue, and also the knots in the legs. Here you can see what this fly looks like underwater. 
The fly sits low in the water with the back end hanging down. And here you can see how that bright colored piece on top makes it more visible. And here you can see how it hangs low. Well there we have it, a small hopper pattern. This has been pretty effective for me at my local creeks and streams. Thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Check the description section for a list of materials I used on this fly. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.